Hey there everyone, I am Anindam and today I am going to share about my new project that is Chat with Code. With this, you can put your GitHub project as in context and you can ask question around that. So whenever you are exploring new open source project, this tool is really helpful. You can just put the URL here and ask question around it. So now let's see how it works. So all you have to do is just put your uh, repo URL here and load the repository. So for the example, I have used the logo AI project that I recently built. If you haven't checked that yet, you can give that a look as well. So at first it is just loading the repository and as you can see, it has loaded successfully. Now I can just ask you questions around it. So what is logo AI and let's see what it does. As you can see here, it explained what is logo AI and you can use it to ask further questions as well uh, such as what is the project structure, where I can start contributing, where this file is located and such as. So this is really helpful if you are you know, trying out new projects. Now. For the building of this project, I have used Llama index. So if you are building any agentic application or that revolves around, you know, rag and applications like that, you can definitely use uh, Llama index for that. And for the LLM part of this, I have used Navius AI Studio. So Navius AI Studio provides a wide range of uh, models such as DeepSeq V3 that I have used for this example, DeepSeq R1. They also provide embedding models, text to image models, vision models, and a lot. So if you are building any Gen AI application, you should definitely give Navius AI a try. Now let's understand how you can build yours. So I have opened my VS code and I will explain how you can build here. So I will at also attach the GitHub code in the uh, description. So you can also give that a try. And so basically I am using Streamlit for the UI. You can use any other uh, uh, library if you want. So basically first I am just uh, defining this function. Uh, it is just, you know, uh, getting those GitHub URLs and from that it is just getting the owner uh, repo and branch from that. So if you want to take different inputs, you can do that as well. Next up, we have created this load GitHub data function where we are using this uh, GitHub repository data function uh, provided from uh, Lama index. You just have to pass the GitHub client that you have created so for that you will need the GitHub token and you will need to pass the owner that we are getting here, getting from here, uh, then the repo and you know the file extension you need to you know check, right? Next up we are creating this uh, run rack completion uh, function where we are using the model for example for this example we are using this uh, deepseq v3 model as i mentioned you before and for the embedding part i am using this model from navius you can choose anything you want here is a sample prompt template that i have added here you can tweak it based on your needs next up here is the main function where i can uh, i am writing the main code here and this is nothing much, it's just a simple UI that Streamlit provides. So if you have previously worked with Streamlit, it will be pretty streamlined to you. And to run this, I have already added a setup.sh where you can just run this script. It will do everything for you to set up the virtual environment. It will install the uh, libraries from the requirements and it will, you know, handle the ENV file setup as well. If you want to create the ENV, you have to go to Navius here. You have to go to this API keys part here and you can create your new API key here. Pretty straightforward, right? Now let's go to the script once. For simplicity, I have already added the readme here. You can check it from GitHub as well. So all you have to do after cloning the repository, you just have to go to this uh, path. Then you have to run this uh, command to make the script executable. Next, you just have to execute the uh, script and it will do all the tasks for you. It will create the files. It will create the NNB files and all those uh, requirement installments as well. And after all those things, all you have to do is just run this command to go to the, your virtual environment and then uh, run this command to uh, run your Streamlit app. So now see how that works. Let me go to the example uh, directory first. Now what I'll do, I have already you know, uh, ran this script, so I am not running this again. Uh, while you will do, you just you know run that once. Next up, I will just you know go to the uh, virtual environment. Next, just run the Streamlit app. And here we go. You can see our project is running as simple as that. If you like this project, feel free to give it a star as well. I would really appreciate that. And if you are, you know, building anything with uh, Navius and Llama Index, you can definitely uh, make a peer here. I would love to have your contribution and I'd love to see what you are building with Navius. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Bye.